Welcome to today's lesson and we'll be talking about VAT, that is the value added tax. And in particular, we'll be taking on the value added tax of Uganda, uh, presented to you by CPA Joel. So uh, guys, basically I've been asked to, to make this video because people are wondering how do we file the VAT returns for those who are aspiring for, the, for being accountants, auditors, and there, boom, they had to go and I had to come up with a video to help you guys solve your, your problems. So, uh, let's look at VAT in details. Before you go to the part of how to file the return, must understand what is VAT as per the Act. So, what is VAT? VAT is an indirect tax that is imposed on a value added at different stages of production. VAT is that indirect tax that is imposed on the value added at the of productions. And, and for your sake, for you to know something, uh, on VAT, this is charged on the final consumer. The final consumer bears the burden of the VAT, not the supplier. Uh, in the scope of VAT in Uganda, VAT is charged on every taxable person, every taxable supply, sorry, may be a taxable, every taxable supply may be a taxable person. Every import of goods other than an exempt import and the supply of imported services other than exempt service by a person. That is the scope of VAT. Person liable to pay tax. Uh, in the case of taxable supply, it is to be paid by a taxable person making the supply. Huh? That is, we have two types of uh, VAT. We have the VAT output and the VAT input. VAT output is on the sales you make as a taxable person, and then the VAT input is on the purchases or expenses you incur, yeah? supplying or doing production. Okay. Uh, basically, tax is my thing. You know, I love working with numbers, and that's why you started to come up with this video. But before we go forward, guys, go and hit the subscribe button down there. Follow me because I have a lot coming out. I'll be showing you more and more videos about tax in Uganda, basically I'll be emphasizing on tax for my first videos, my first lessons out, I'll be looking at tax in detail. <clears throat> so, uh, when we move on, VAT on imported services. What is VAT on imported services? As you can see, uh, I have a, a nice slides for you guys, in your free time you can go through, uh, for those who are aspiring to be accountants and you're doing CPA, I may say, we have uh, taxation, paper eight, is it paper eight? You have advanced tax. Yeah, this is a good clip for you to help. You have some summarized notes for you to pass your paper. So, taxable services are rendered by foreign supplies. Taxable services rendered by foreign suppliers are subject to VAT. This is payable by the recipient of the service. So, uh, I won't go much in detail of all that theory you can the, the, the slides are brief and summarized. You can, you guys, you can go through in your free time. I'll just try to take you through. Uh, moving forward, who is a taxable person? A person registered under Section Seven is a taxable person from the time of registration. A person who is not registered but with, but who is required to be registered or to pay under the VAT Act is a taxable person from the beginning of the tax period immediately. Uh, looking at this definition, basically, I assume you guys at least you have the Act, the Income Tax Act. So when I talk on the sections, you have to go and check out in the sections for the more details. But I'm just trying to bring out a, a simple summary about the whole, the whole taxable person who is a taxable person who is liable to register for tax. VAT registration huh? for any company. Uh, any company, any individual, you can do it voluntarily or compulsory registration depending on your nature of business. So there are two types of VAT registration, you have the compulsory and the voluntary registration. Compulsory registration, a person dealing in taxable supplies, the value of which exclusive any tax exceeds or will exceed one quarter of the VAT registration threshold. The VAT registration threshold is 3.5 million Ugandan shillings is required to be is required to compulsory register. So if you are a threshold in a 
exceeds one quarter of the VAT registration of 37.5 million required to compulsorily register for the VAT. Hmm? The annual VAT registration threshold is 150 million. So that's the compulsory registration definition that you have to put back at your mind. Voluntarily is where a person who is not required to register for VAT on account of having business activities below the threshold applies for that registration. You can look at the note down there, you can go through it whereby the Commissioner General has to make a decision whether the person can be uh, registered or rejected. Taxable supplies, taxable and exempt supplies. So moving forward, uh, we have uh, taxable and exempt supplies. Basically, they are, when, you're compu when you're dealing with it, you either have taxable supplies, whereby taxable supplies are made of the uh, Taxable supplies are made of, um, uh, let's say, standard rated goods, and then we have the zero rated goods. And then the exempt supplies, these ones are completely exempted. Hmm? I'm just giving a summary of the things. I won't go line by, I won't go through line as per the, the, the slides, but I'm just giving you hints. And in case when you're going through, you get to know what exactly you have to do about whatsoever you're trying to go through. So this is a brief chart of uh, taxable and exempt supplies. As I said, taxable supplies is made up of standard rated and zero rated, and then we have the exempt supplies. Okay. Uh, I think I went through that. I'll just give a minute for you guys to have that information in case you need that summary of what taxable and zero rated supplies are. A taxable supply, as we can see, a supply of goods or service other than an exempt supply made in Uganda by a taxable person. And then a zero rated, a zero rate percent is charged. Okay, zero rate percent is charged, and the sub on on supply. But note, if you look down there, if you look down here, you have to note that the supply is entitled to claim any input tax incurred in making that supply. That is for zero rated, but for exempt, the supply is not entitled to claim any input. I mean, sorry, is 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 entitled to claim an, a percentage of that input as we'll see in our next video. Thank you so much. May God bless you. I remain CPA Joe well, and I, I please kindly subscribe to my channel. I'll be glad. Thank you, guys. Have a nice time. Bye-bye.